Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Join the family, hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty lucky that I haven't really worn glasses my whole entire life. I really never really needed it. But normally I can see things pretty clearly. But as of lately, everything's become a little bit more too blurry. And I was like, hmm, I need some new glasses. So I went online and did a bit of research and typed in how to find the perfect pair of glasses and I came across Warby Parker. I've seen their stores around New York and a lot of my friends actually have glasses from them. For example, Felicia. So I went and checked out their website and saw a bunch of different frames and styles. I downloaded the app. So if you have an iPhone X, you can have that feature where it scans your face and then it gives you another list of frames that might suit the shape. I took a quiz. The quiz is pretty simple. It asks you pretty basic questions like obviously, are you a female or a male? And then obviously like what type of frames you tend to go for, what kind of colors, you go for what type of face shape that you are like your narrow medium or like wide and then it just gives you a bunch of like glasses I think I picked like maybe one or two from the recommended and then I decided just to try some different ones that kind of like outside my comfort zone because I normally just stick to things that I know and I feel like it's so boring because I'm like oh my god these are things that I always wear and I'm like why do I keep buying the same thing of the same style of the same color and I'm like Dude, this is the year I'm gonna try new things. So I decided to pick a few other styles from the whole range. And the prices are quite reasonable. It's $95, you have lenses included, and these lenses are actually anti-glare as well as anti-scratch, which is actually my cup of tea because I'm always throwing my glasses around and I prefer to have glasses that I'm not gonna have to baby them so much. I also have fake lashes on, which is sort of like something that I think is really important because you don't want the lashes to touch the actual lens of the frame. I'm excited to try it, let's open it. Let's get jiggy with it. You know what I mean? Saying, okay, sorry, that's lame. This is how it looks. It looks really like beautifully packaged, very light. Oh, I like this part. We open it and it says, this is gonna be great. Is it? Let's have a look. It tells you how to tell if a frame fits. That's actually quite important. For every pair purchased, a pair is distributed to someone in need. Oh, that's cool. That's a really good course. Let's quickly read, how do you know if a frame fits your face? So this one says, pupils are near the center of each lens. So they should be in the center of the lens. So not like to the side or down or whatever, it's in the center. Okay, eyebrows are above the glasses. So you don't want the glasses to cover the eyebrows. You don't want your eyebrows to be underneath them. You want them to be above it. Okay, number three, lenses don't extend past the sides of your face. Huh? Oh, so like the actual lens itself doesn't go past the face. And the last one at least is when you smile, your cheeks don't push the frames up. That's like really important because that annoys the crap out of me, especially when you're wearing sunglasses and you smile and it just like lifts up. Ugh, so annoying. So now that's out of the way, let's go into the five glasses that I've picked. Da, da, da. The first one that I picked is Milton. Okay, and this is what this is one of the glasses that I said I was pushing outside my comfort zone, and this is really pushing out of my comfort zone. Although this is quite popular, like I think this is like the new trend style because I see everyone's got them. So I decided to try one myself. Here goes nothing. Putting this on, the first thing I notice is definitely uh, the nose bridge is very comfortable. It's not touching my cheeks at all. But what's annoying me is that the lashes are touching the lens. My pupils are sitting quite center of the glasses. It's not going out of my, you know, the width of my face. So, so far it's ticked most of the boxes, but let's try the next one. This one is Tansley and I believe this is actually in my recommended list. So I thought, oh, because you know me, I personally prefer a bit of cat eye because I feel like my face needs that bit of wideness on top. So I picked the color black because I'm I want to go neutral colors. I don't want to go too out there. I feel like black usually goes with everything. I also like the gold details in here, especially around the nose bridge. So let's try Tansley on. How do I look? I can feel that it's not touching my my cheekbones. The nose bridge is super comfortable. I can tell that I'm looking through the lenses without any distraction. My lashes are not touching the lens. Oh, and also I noticed that my brows are still there. It's still there. So this is also a good pass. This one is Collis, and I believe this was actually not in the recommended list either, but I wanted to try this one because I wanted to pick a neutral color. One is clear. It goes with like everything. I'm quite intrigued about these clear crystal glasses. I feel like 
I feel like they're okay. So, so far, it sits on the nose quite well. It's not touching the cheeks. You can see my eyebrows. The thing that's annoying me right now, it is my lashes are like brushing against the lens and then I can't see. Okay, I know you guys can see the lights in the lenses, but that's that's just how it is. I can't I can't not have the light here. But anyway, so I think this is gonna be a pass for me, even though I like the whole clear idea. I love the shape. This is something that I would totally wear, but because it's touching the lashes, I feel like it stabbed me in the eyeball. This one is Haley. Okay, this was definitely in my recommended list because it's got this cat eye effect. I also picked the clear in this one because it came with different colors, but I thought this clear one was a little bit more up my alley because something that you would match anything and everything with. It's different to the Collis because this one's a bit more flatter. As you can see, it's got a bit more of a cat eye look on there. But other than that, everything else feels the same. Let's put this on. I really hope this one works because I like the shape. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so how does this one look? It's touching my lashes, so I can't even open my eyes, but it fits okay on the nose. It doesn't touch my cheekbones, and uh, I think my brows are still there. Yep, it's still there. Because the side of the frames is so high up on the cat eye, that means it makes the glasses sit a lot lower on the eyes, because if your ear is aligned with your eyes, then obviously it's gonna brush against the lashes a lot more. So that is definitely a no for me, even though I really wanted this to work. I, I guess I just don't have any fate with these clear glasses. This is in Louise, and this was also in my recommended list. I think it was like top two. Okay, definitely more comfortable than the other one. But again, the lashes are touching the, the frames because I realized because a nose bridge is different to like the previous two, which has like an extra nose stand thing. So this sits a lot higher on the nose, but because this one actually sits on the nose, it's gonna affect the lashes, definitely. All right guys, so that's all the five frames that I've um, put on. I think this is a fun exercise. It definitely saves time from going into the store and actually going through the whole tedious process of trying. You can try it at the comfort of your own home. You can try it different ways. And I feel like this is probably the easiest way to find glasses for you. Although I do recommend you trying on more than just five. I feel like you should do like multiple orders and try on like at least 10. Especially if you're just new at glasses and you have no idea what frames suit you, you have no ideas how they fit. It's definitely more fun to try them, like try all different types of frames. Like I didn't think I was gonna like these ones because they're so different. I'll never pick them up normally, but they're actually so comfortable. I've decided to maybe just send them back and try a couple of new ones. The box comes with a prepaid level, so you can just ship it back for free once you're done. So once again, you can order five pairs of glasses to try at home for five days and you don't have to buy any of them. Okay guys, so head to warbyparker.com slash beautywithin to order your free home try-ons today. I think that's it. If you guys have any other questions, leave your comments down below. Um, like always, remember to like and share. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.